Okay, so my chitin swap upper control arms came in and these are the two to four inch lift arms but I'm gonna I'm going to add uh, two inch spacers to help this to help this get a uh, little bit higher so my front end is gonna get a little bit higher by two inches or two more inches now I didn't want to be anxious and just throw it on so I'm just painting it I wasn't gonna do this video but I figured I'd show this video um, you know hopefully it comes out good then you can see that a uh, little patience um, goes a long way where other people would have just thrown the arm on already and say oh I got it on and then think about oh I should have painted it well I'll, I'm, I'm painting everything under my truck but slowly and I'm, right now we're looking at the arms and I'm just so taped everything up even the zerk holes as you can see the ball joints and I didn't want to take the cap off I could have took it off but cap is under here uh, I just left it there so I'm gonna go ahead and paint it and so we're, we're painting it right now and then tomorrow I'm gonna spray the the red coat all right so I'm going to spray the mapper control arms red to match everything else uh, so right now I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do this one So I'm using the Dupont, oh Dupli, sorry, Dupli uh, Molten Red Metallic. Uh, it's not really metallic, I don't know why I say metallic, but so again, we're going to be spraying the upper arms, the KSP upper arms for my, uh, again, Titan Swap. And so right now we're going to be spraying Molten Red, and uh, after this, we're going to spray the, uh, the anodized color on it over this. So, Right now I'm going to do about three or four coats of this and then I'm going to do about two coats of the metallic.
can see the difference. It's coming out more candy. It is kind of a bright reddish orange. Yeah, so you can tell the difference with the the anodized coat. So I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put two heavy coats uh, each, and then I'm gonna spray the clear coat. So you can see it's uh, kind of a dark candy. It's like a blood red on the camera, but uh, it actually is a dark red, more like a candy red. When I spray the molten and the metal cast um, anodized over the molten red, so you can see, you can kind of see the effect. Eh? Um, I just gotta let it dry now. Uh, then I'm gonna spray the clear, spray the clear coat, and it's gonna get darker. Is what is gonna happen. So okay, so now I'm going to shoot the clear coat. Finish clear coat. You can see all the glitter that ran into the clear coat. And you can see all the holes that I covered and now it's uncovered. So do a quick spin. And then you can see the KSP there. I gotta clean it up a little bit. But right now you can see a quick spin. And then you can see all the glitter and the, the high gloss. So what I did was I made sure I put some uh, extra high gloss on the outside where it'll be visible. And I did that on both sides. So we just let it dry and put it on tomorrow.